I will roll this side. Hey, Rod. This is Tim. I'm just waiting for people to come in. Thanks. Yeah, sure, Tim. All right, we're going to give everyone a couple minutes here and get started. Okay, so let's just get started. Uh, that way, we'll just get through some of the um, some of the administrative actions uh, while while everyone's coming in. So, uh, this is the ORAN uh, meeting for um, January thirty first. Uh, we have today. We have an agenda items to uh, approve it, uh, approve the previous minutes. Uh, we also have a slight small discussion on some priorities, and I'll, I'll explain what the priorities are and where they came from uh, in a moment. Uh, and then we have uh, two use cases that we have to uh, uh, figure out if we're gonna bring this forward to the RX scoping if they're complete enough. So I'm looking for a, a go, no go on that so we can decide uh, if they're gonna be presented on Friday or not. Um, and, and with people that can do the presentation. So there's two things of it. Are they ready? And do we have people that can do the presentation to them? Um, there's also some questions that people were asking about uh, the NFO code base, whether it's going to be uh, the source authority is going to be in uh, NEFIO or OSC. And I think there were some discussions there that people would have, so we can have a, a small discussion on that as well. So um, does anyone have any other things that they, that they need to bring? All right, I don't see any hands, so let's go through. Uh, January 24th meeting minutes uh, are documented uh, below. Um, the question is, is that does anyone have any um, any objection to approving these meeting minutes? Again, I would remind the group that you can go in here and uh, edit these at any time that you want. If they're if you, if they're not reflecting what what you what you think they need to reflect, uh, I just wanted to make sure that uh, people are aware uh, and have one last chance here. All right, I don't see any objections. Um, the other thing that uh, when we're talking about, so we're in the process now, guys, where we have use cases that we think are ready. Remember, we did get the use cases. We kind of agreed on the context. There was some items <clears throat> that the network automation team had asked us to complete for having a discussion with them uh, on uh, for, the, for the next phase. Um, and uh, that is being done in the RX uh, scoping meeting uh, held by the network architecture. These are on Fridays at uh, 10 a.m. Sorry, Pacific. Uh, so it's the, the next one is this next Friday. 
what Santa had asked us to do is as we finish these um, use cases is to assign a priority to them, right? And so uh, that was asked, you know, kind of uh, before, uh, between our meetings. Uh, and so I took a, I took a quick cut because we thought we would do the uh, reconfiguring uh, of the NF um, on, on that Friday, which actually didn't happen. So, um, but what I did is I took it, she wanted priorities between one and 10. And, and so people kind of mean, what's the difference between a one and a two and a five and a 12, whatever it is, right? Uh, so I said, okay, we weren't given any guidance on that. So I, I created a, a, a guidance. Uh, this is this is what I think um, kind of makes sense is that if we're talking about a priority of one through 10, that uh, we break these down into high, medium, and nice to have. Uh, the, the first three, we can differentiate if we think things are uh, differentiable and the critical, um, where we are the high, which is a critical need, and, and then four through seven, a medium, but it's either important for the industry or future work. Uh, and uh, nice to have, we're showing showing a viable alternative. It's kind of like a POC that's a nice to have that we would be doing. Um, the uh, what I what I did in, in anticipation of, of trying to get to the RX scope meeting so that they understand it is is I I said I think that um, the uh, NF orchestration using the S SMO is a priority one. It's critical to the future development. Without it, we can't do too much with the SMO integration that we want to try to do. Uh, and then the user story for the deployment of the near real time RIC uh, in XF is a priority one critical to complete the ORAN. NF. So I'm giving them reasons why we think it's also a prioritization. And then for um, the reconfigure NF, I actually had a, a, a priority four where it's important because it's important for uh, 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 for the industry for future work. So it was kind of like we're looking at a different way of doing it. Uh, but it might might have impact, so it's important to to look for the future toward it. So those those were the kind of things that that I was looking at. I my question to the group is: Does anyone think differently? First of all, with the with the categorization, again, I'm trying to put some <laughs> bounds into one through ten, right? <laughs> the, the one through ten request. Um, does anyone uh, have any real objection to trying to categorize things that come out of our group? this way and so one question tim i mean i see um um i mean i think i mean the, obviously you're trying to kind of give priority to the the more the the critical control functions of focom and fo the ims dms kind of functions right uh and i just and i just had questions on these um the the three items that have been chosen i mean these things I mean, what you have listed for the Friday's uh, discussion. I, I, I basically am, am in line with that, but I also thought the the OCloud registration and the KTS cluster creation was also ready for discussion. Isn't uh, no, my, I, I uh, haven't. Right? I, I, I haven't got the okay from Bala yet on those things. Bala slash Alexis. So they haven't released those yet. Uh, I'm not. You know, for me. If we're saying they're ready, then I'll announce them, right? But I was waiting for the, the people that would do the uh, the presentation, the leads that are kind of taking taking the leads on those things to give me the thumbs up on it, right? Mm, okay, no, because then I think, uh, I mean, what we have been discussing with um, Seishu and Sagar, so I'm assuming that we could still drive the NFO, um, the NF instantiation use case um, without, uh, the FOCOM, it, I think FOCOM, and I think the assumption is that, okay, we will just take everything. Yeah, it, it'll be there. They just right, haven't yeah. got them. I, again, we just haven't got them ready, right? So um, my my guess is that, you know, we'll we'll deal with those at, when they're ready, right? You can, in yours, make an, a, an assumption on the FOCOM being there, right? Uh, and we'll just state those assumptions. Those Those use cases haven't been released yet, right? So that's... Does that does that help, Robbie? Yeah, no. I was just trying to understand this this the, the stage they are in right now. Yeah, I'm trying to see them being realized for R three or are we going? Yeah, yeah. They're still they're so still no 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 no. They're still they're still up for R three. We just okay. I, I I need I need the thumbs up right <laughs> that I just okay, haven't right. gotten yet. Uh, all right. Um. So there's a couple other. I, I do have something. So I'm going to request the priorities. Someone says, is there a priority field? If there's not in the templates, guys, I'm asking that when we create these priorities, again, I did some because 
because of the ask and it was between meetings. What I would ask is that on your use cases, just put a priority field in there, right? Uh, and just uh, document the priority that's in the use case, right? Right now I've got them documented here, uh, but go ahead and transfer them. Um, so uh, Barada, was that your question? Right, uh, I raised the hand. Um, um, uh, Tim, actually this uh, classification is uh, very good. Um, one thing is, how can we define, you know, what is critical? How do we define, you know, what is well, critical? Well, I think, I think we come to, I think we come to consensus. Generally, I would like to, when, when something's presented, we'll come in and have a consensus as to, if we think for this release, right, the release three, if it's critical for it. And, you know, for us, what I was doing when I said, well, Tim, how did you come up with priority one? I was looking at it from a genesis perspective. It says, uh, is this critical for future work in that piece of it? Is it a genesis, a first item that we would do towards that piece, right? And if so, then it's critical uh, for if we're going to try to do that at least three, right? Or if you have a lot of dependencies, that's typically the way it is. But my hope is, is that we as a group will come up with a priorities on, on future CR, or future work use cases. And, you know, forgive me if I, uh, if I misspoke. And if we think we need to change any of these, go ahead. And I'll, I'll say, sorry, guys, I got it wrong um, to the, to the network architect team. We can adjust priorities if you guys do not think right, it's right. the case. Right, right, right. Now, maybe that clarification, you know, is record, but otherwise it's good, Tim. Okay. Actually, we have to do it. I mean, okay. We can't do all the things. Only stuff is like what you say. Critical is, hey, before we start, there are some things which uh, need to be there in the system as a base, and uh, you know th that's what is required. Yeah. Good. Base usually, usually a basis, a basis for something for future work, right? Okay. I, I, yeah, that's that's a good you know, clarification. Uh, Joey? Yeah, a couple of clarifying things. And uh, so you, you said you didn't put the priorities on the other ones because you haven't just like gotten the thumbs up, but are we okay to prioritize them now? Yeah, in, yeah. So if, if, if we got time, if we got will... time, Joey, I have no issue. Okay. Then that. I've. Uh, there in the in the user story template there is a section for priority but it just says low medium high do you think we should replace it with the numbers or just say for example high replace it for one it, or yeah, yeah i would just put hot i would put high medium and low i'm going to put low so nice to have i guess it low right and um and just put and put in parentheses the number that you think it is okay. that way it would help us prioritize we might say, yeah, that one is low. Yeah, they're both low, but we really should do this one first. That's all I'm trying to okay. do in that, right? And so, but the... yeah, a high, medium, low is the critical piece. Okay. And then in the in the deploy near real time uh, and XF one, its priority is medium in that document. Are you okay. saying it needs to change then? Because you're if, suggesting if, a priority one. I didn't know they were in there. So if we say it's medium, guys, I'm okay with that. Um, but tell me. Is it medium or um, we'll, we'll talk about it when we when we get to uh, okay no great I'll just clarify yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Thanks. thanks for letting me know that that's in there because I I honestly didn't know all right uh, anything else on the priorities so for future work again we'll go we'll we'll use these as a priority list um, and I'm gonna go ask Alexis maybe to put this in the template <laughs> you know that way that way it's a documented somewhere so. Okay. Oh, Rohit Bala. So, Rohit? Yeah, so I was thinking, you know, so currently you have done this user story and NF orchestration using SMO as a priority one. But I think first we need to create, you know, register the O cloud with SMO. We need to create the cluster. And I think once these are these use cases are ready, for me, these are some of the basic use cases which are required for the NM orchestration using SMO. So this should also be the part of highest priority or the priority one item. Yeah, don't, get, don't, don't get me wrong. When we get there, they're probably all going to be priority ones, right? So yeah, Okay. <laughs> so uh, we'll I was talk, thinking, talk about yeah, it. yeah, sure. <laughs> all right, Bala? Yeah, I'm sorry, I joined a bit late. I think this might have already been discussed. But anyways, I'm just putting my release manager hat on. 
So I think uh, part of the prioritization process should also be, uh, I think you should consider the road mapping also, right? I think what is important for the next release and what how are we going to stage it into multiple releases? So I'm pretty sure it's it's already been discussed. I just wanted to highlight that. I think that's a, that's a part of the prioritization process as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's get started with the two that we have. Um, so do we have uh, NF orchestration using the SMO? That's Bala and, or not Bala, but uh, Ravi and Seishu. Hey guys, just to let you also know that, you know, um, what I'm hearing from uh, uh, the network automation team is when when we go and present these to the RX scope, um, there's two aspects of this that I'm that I'm finding. And, and again, we're feeling ourselves out as we're doing this, but and so I'm just giving you some information that you may very well need to be prepared for when you go there. Um, they're they're asking two fundamental types of questions, right? There's there's technical questions when we say, hey, we're going to develop an operator, CRD, and we need that we need to act, we need to take and you know the SMO might say, you know, I need to have a intercluster, you know, E2, you know, for example. Um, you know, we're, we're identifying those components. But surprisingly, that kind of surprised me was that some of the also questions were, was, and I guess it kind of makes sense. It just surprised me. Um, where is this work being done? Is it being done in OAI, OSC? Where's the source work being done? And when is expected to be finished if it's being done outside of Nephia? So uh, as you look at these artifacts, uh, I, I think it's you, you should be prepared to answer those two questions because I think you're going to get those two questions, <laughs> if that makes sense. Okay? Yeah. So um, I'm going to let you start sharing. Um, who's going to do this? Ravi, say to you which one? Well, I don't care. I'm going to stop sharing. One of you two share. You can start the sharing. Perhaps I'll, I'll support you from there. Sure, Bobby, yeah. uh, one, one pending item, I think Bala is also here, my brother. So one thing is uh, me and Bala finally found a time when we could actually get into. Uh, so tomorrow uh, evening, uh, the US time and tomorrow morning IST is when we found a time. Uh, and uh, we will also go through this uh, separately. To, and I'll, I'll also uh, have a discussion with Bala. That's one pending item for me. That action item was there. And... Uh, we finally found a slot in which we can get Bala over to you for that. Right tomorrow morning we are meeting, isn't it? Yes, yes. Thanks, Seshu. And uh, it's actually my mistake. Sorry, Seshu. Sorry for getting yeah, that. It it, it has no, no, I just want to make sure that uh, yeah. that, that item which was open for this meeting, I want to just give an update. Uh, Tim, yes, uh, absolutely. You... Yes, bro. Yeah, we'll we'll meet tomorrow. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Tomorrow, tomorrow your time, night my time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Tomorrow morning. So, I mean, so is this your OEM or is this the discuss the IMS? SMO, IMS, DMS interaction? Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. All right, so the, this this will be done tomorrow, right? 2-1. Two, tomorrow, tomorrow uh, US time, you can see. Yeah. yeah. Two one two oh four. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Uh, so, I mean, you, you just wanted uh, the updates from since last time, right? Uh, so, yeah, uh, let's, then... let's get, yeah, let's get what you're going to present to the RX scoping. So, I, unless, there, unless we haven't, I don't know what we're Take it where yeah, I mean, up. yeah. Since yeah, since last time, Joey had I think two more comments which we have addressed. The last is that uh, we met uh, Monday, okay, uh, late night, and I, most of these comments have been addressed. I mean, we have uh, taken, yeah, but I, but taken Robbie the just, comments. Ravi, just yeah. a second. I, I just want to make sure that you understand. Uh, we're going to time box this at about fifteen minutes. So try to get the things that you think that are going to be necessary to convey fifteen minute time frame. Okay, uh, you do you want to do some kind of a dry run right now, or I'm sorry. No, I'm no, no. I'm just saying I'm time boxing this because we got another one after you. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm okay, time yeah, boxing sure, this sure. to yeah, fifteen okay, minutes. Okay, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I, I just I focus on the critical updates, right? So the important ones, like so, we had we uh, kind of addressed uh, comments that Joey had, um, and uh, most of them were taken. Joey, you can read through this uh, document again and see if those texts uh, kind of uh, is up to what you are. But when, to to what you were suggesting, I think there was only I think uh, uh, one 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 comment where uh, I think there was like we were kind of trying to um, see how to address it. So this this now uh, this this one comment where NFO process a request to instantiate a network function deployment. So 
I think it was it was set as an intention, uh, but then we need to trigger the deployment in some sense. So we we are we are not again. Uh, we do say that uh, the service orchestration function is out of the scope, but uh, but something needs to kind of have the the network deployment instantiation triggered. So uh, what we have been discussing is either using you know there are two versions of the software that will be kind of um, in a sense uh, released. You'll have one that would be using the REST APIs, the other would be based on uh, a control, uh, basically an NFO operator based. Uh, deployment that would be using CR. So all those details are uh, also captured in this slide. Um, and also, yeah, so in this slide, primarily we had uh, comments from Vim. Um, and I, we tried to address the ones that that were uh, kind of uh, there on the, day, on the day we discussed. But I think I see Vim has, um, has a few more comments. I'm not sure Vim is on the call. Uh, I didn't think so, but yeah. Yeah, but he'll be on that. This. He'll be on that call on Friday, so you got. Yeah, yeah. So we will probably, I think, before the Friday's uh, meeting thing, uh, I think we, I think the team will, uh, will, will plan to get together and and address this because I've not uh, kind of uh, I haven't read. I'm just see looking at this as we speak right now, but there are a few other comments that. Um, so anyway, so I think I'll just uh, go over the changes that we did. Uh, so we clarified here. Uh, Sashi, you can uh, you can um, uh, interject, you know, or you know, comment in when you when you whenever you feel like. But uh, I, we kind of clarified the um, the two. Okay, not this one, right here. Yeah. So this is where um, we clarified the two versions of the software, uh, and this I think the the discussion on um, where the source code will be managed. I think that's that's something that. Is on the agenda right now, right? So I think that we can discuss later. But um, so there will be a, a, there will be two versions of N O four. One is based on that will be kind of an individual workload uh, that will be a, a standalone kind of a, a service by itself. The uh, within the within the cluster scope. The other is basically um, it will be realized as N O four operator, but um, it would be based on uh, um, kind of watching out for certain CRs to. Uh, to kind of for it to trigger the network function deployment. So these are the two points that we clarified. Um, and then I think I don't think we made any any uh, any big changes in this part of the text, um, other than kind of addressing Wim's comment. And we did go through some of these APIs. So do you got a you got a sequence diag? So the important thing here is I think what you're missing is a uh -huh. sequence diag. Well, no, scroll down to the other. Uh, what on page four sorry oh yeah okay yeah so here right so i think what wim is asking for when you see the flow chart is a sequence diagram so if you look okay. at the service or uh the service assurance guys they put a little sequence they put a little sequence they put a sequence diagram in that shows the components yep. and the interaction right so i think that's what he's kind of looking for after that just to let you know yeah sure sure yeah, i think because that's, that's, that's... he wants to see who's responsible for what Right, which yeah. makes sense, right? Okay. I mean, the 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 sequence is basically what is captured using this APL, but I think to arrive at a sequence diagram should be relatively easy. I think we should be able to do that. Yeah, I didn't see this uh, comment. This probably is a recent uh, question that he has posted there. Uh, but yeah, so but uh, these APIs primarily um, basically covers the aspect of how the uh, um, how you are, how you could how would I think this is about um, um, how how the O cloud would be registered um, uh, in the SMO, and then there's one more. This API I think is about um, primarily getting the um, okay, subscribing to certain notification from the O cloud. But there's I think this one where you are getting the uh, DMS ID, DMS information, and one for deploying the network function. Um, Network function deployment itself. So there is a certain set of sequence here, but I think we could put it all together. Yes. Go ahead. Yeah, one, one thing. Uh, yeah. Thanks, Ravi. Uh, one latest update is a couple of hours back. We also presented this in the SMO call, as as I was saying you last time also, right? So we also had Varada, Timo, um, Sagar in the same call along with me. And and one good thing we found is, uh, in fact, the HC DMS profile also. I mean the 
even they are looking for similar operation uh, in the current thing. So I am also talking the, with the tacker team. And one good thing which is actually also come up there is uh, they're also looking for the same payload. They're also doing with the same CNF. And um, uh, the operator over there who was there, uh, Puno-san, uh, coming from uh, the Japan area, what he said is that it will be great to actually show the same two things. I mean, the same uh, payload or, or, the, or the OIDU being deployed by both these profiles, the DMS profile as well as the KTS profile. So that it makes much more sense for the integration perspective also. That's one good takeaway that we have and very good uh, you know, agreement on the, the flow which we have agreed upon here. The second important thing is we also see a lot of uh, interest right now. I would not say commitment for the contribution, but at least interest coming from OSC. So that's also something which we have uh, taken into, you know, that we have to even churn out to see how many of them will be coming forward to contribute this. Right now, thanks to Capgemini, Vishal actually has a step forward, said that he'll also present uh, uh, I mean, he'll also help uh, provide, uh, provide a helping hand to have this thing uh, implemented well, um, apart from the current companies which are there. Yeah, this is the latest update uh, coming just two hours back from the SMO call. Ravi, thank you. Yeah. So, yeah, that's the, that's the big, uh, that's the basic um, kind of summary of updates. And if we have, uh, the, the team has more questions, and we can. So, can I ask so, something here? Stefan here yeah. from Ericsson. Right. You mentioned here, yeah, yeah, you said like you want to look into support for, for both so to DMS profiles. But is your plan to support both profiles in Nephew or will no. it be like OSC is focusing on yes. the attacker? And... Yes, yes, that's the idea. Stephen, the, the main thing is OSC, HC will be done by the attacker team. Okay, yeah. that will not go to if whatever we are discussing here is only KDS profile part. So for that, uh, we will we will only port that thing to Nephew. The HC profile will not be, but because we are also doing a collaboration with ORAN, I'm saying even they are also excited to see that we can do collaboration on the ORAN side for the both the profiles. Yeah, yeah. And from Nephew perspective, how, it's is profile. Yeah. Right. And how do you see the northbound? Then I mean, uh, Tucker, there yeah. you would basically have an NFVO, right? That, that yes. would uh, implement yes. like the the the, the Sol three southbound, and then that one will expose Sol five northbound, but yeah. I. I don't exactly. think that that should be the case for the nephew to DMS Kubernetes no, code. Uh, right? Again, I'm saying that, that what we are showing right now is only the KTS profile part. That segregation between both will be based on the type, which will be coming from top service orchestration. Mm -hmm. Once it comes to them, it will be then transformed into a SOL3 or, or SOL3 based because from uh, NFEO to the VNFM part is actually what it will take into. Mm -hmm. uh, for the HC part, for this for this thing, it will be KTS profile where uh, you know, we will be taking it uh, to the to the Kubernetes way of doing it. So yeah. Nephew will only be interested in this. In fact, we've also clarified this as part of the opening statement here that what we're discussing here is only the KTS profile part. Uh, what I was showing you, I mean, what I was trying to say sometime before is that there is also great uh, uh, enthusiasm coming out from the OSC team to have this taken forward. I was talking about that statement, not from Nephew perspective, but from OSC perspective. Mm. Yeah. So, so in the in the Kubernetes profile case uh, with the nephew implementation, what will what do you see is the northbound? Is it like the kept package um, porch API that you will expose? That as part northbound? that is where we want to wait. Uh, I mean, we discussed even this in the last meeting uh, where mm. we were saying that once we have more clarity on service orchestration, because that's actually parallel work happening in the work group one. Right, right. As we get more clarity on that with respect to the the spec. Uh, we'll be keeping taking that into account. Right now, we have kept service orchestration out of the scope, also inventory, but for these two will be critical there, right? Not just service orchestration. Even the way we retrieve the information of of the inventory, I mean, the, the complete clusters which are being formed, those two will be something which we are waiting for the spec to be, you know, uh, generalized and, and finally approved. Once we have that, we'll be taking up in the coming releases. Right now, we'll have a temporary way, like we'll just have a trigger factor, um, but that will not be something we, I mean, we don't want to keep much of uh, work over there because that will be anyways be changing once the spec is there. So we will wait uh -huh. for the spec. Could, could you elaborate? What do you mean with a trigger? Uh, how, how will you, I, uh, how we will are, you trigger? Yeah. We are right now keeping it as an API based, I mean, a simple API just to trigger that NFO, all right? That will be then, uh, we are actually trying to have that thing coming from SO after the homing placement intent, everything yeah. is Right, so we are waiting for that uh, one. But right now, for for a time being, testing purpose, we will be doing it as a part of Postman call, a simple. Postman yeah, but call. what what is it you are referring to there? In, when you are triggering, then it's not a kept package, or 
No, we will actually put both. We discussed that in the slide number three, right? Where we are saying that no, uh -huh. slide number two. We said we will actually have nephew wave kept petting as well as the helm wave because helm wave is actually what OS is doing right now. And uh, we'll also adopt a kept package because that's what nephew is looking into. Yeah. So you will have, I, I got the impression you said you will wait with kept packages. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah, we did, you, you, you will. You do way. have. You you will have. Kept, uh, you, you can book. Yeah, yeah. yeah I said, think that we'll package. just borrow whatever has been done um, in R two uh, for now. Yeah. Yes. Okay. That will be. The... We have already documented here. You can see step number four is saying that we will reuse nephew R two code, and uh, the step number two, as we are seeing, as the NFO operator will be necessary in CI to request in the deployment. So both of them are are documented here, Stephen. I think that's answering your question, right? So, so when you say okay, yeah, I, I can, I can. When you say reuse of, of Helm charge of OA, this is like uh, also following the R two code, and you're just following what you do there. Sorry, come yeah, in. I, I... Uh, no, I didn't get the last part of the question. So, Ravi, did you? Get you it? have uh, bullet three. You reuse of Helm charge OA. You reuse of nephew R two code. Uh, I'm just. Okay, so so will these helm charts then be in a kept package or or no? This helm yeah. charts which are, this helm chart we are talking about are, are standalone right now for the OSC part. Okay. Because for OSC we want to start off small and OSC right now uses helm. Okay. Uh, the kept part of will be extension to that. That's what we are going to do the R two part. We will reuse the R two part for that specific thing, which is adapting to nephew. Okay. Yeah. That's okay. Small. I think That's this really, it, it sounds good. I, I just wanted to f f understand sure, sure, sure. that. But but yeah, we will we will you. start small. Mm. Yeah, we'll start small as this said, is we'll, good. Yeah, we'll start a bottom up. The approach we are mm. taking is bottom up. We'll yeah. try the helm way, make sure that it's actually getting deployed, then we will try the KPT way. That's the whole purpose, right? We are talking mm. bottom up. Dividing okay, guys. So okay, last thanks. last last chance for any questions. I'll take one last question if there's one. If not, uh, I would ask, I'm going to wait. I've been, okay. All right. So is there any reason not to bring this to uh, the RX scope? Okay. I hear none. So it's going to the RX scope. It's going to be a priority one. Is there anyone objecting to priority one? Okay. So document uh, as it as high priority one, if you can. Um. Uh, well, uh, uh, Ravi. Yeah, I think we we still have one pending task of putting the flow diagram. We'll do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I documented that down. If you could before Friday, that'd be great because I think you're going to yeah, be yeah, in we'll second do. on Friday, yeah. right? And the second task team is actually with me. As I said, Bala and me will be discussing about that. So these two action items will take up before that. Sure. Okay. Sure. Cool. Thanks. Thank you. No, no objection to arc scope. Uh, no objection. Assign. Priority one. Okay, so let's stop this share and let's go to the next one, which is I think is Naaman or Sagar or who's doing the uh their non real time rip or or the near real time rip, sorry. Do we have them uh, on board? This is Varada and Naman will be doing and in fact uh, Sagar also, you know, from OA perspective will be joining. Yeah. Naman okay. will be present. You're gonna present. Go ahead, Varada, sorry. Wasn't uh, no, not not now. It had already been presented to me and agreed. No, not uh, the reconfigure NF. Not the reconfigure NF. The um, we call it the non near real time rec without the SMO. Right, right. I, I thought uh, that was done last to last uh, week. So uh, do, you, I... do you have do you have all the so do you have all the comments complete for it? That's okay with me. We're saying that everyone's okay with it. So right. I'm seeing stuff from uh, Wim that says uh, who's doing the KNS operators. So why don't you why don't you show it and we'll go through it and make sure. How about that? Okay. Right, right. Uh, Naman is not here, but what I heard from him is he had finished the comments. But I'll confirm. I'll confirm roughly. Uh, yeah, I'm still slide. seeing. I'm seeing a bunch of Wim comments. Right. So. What is specific to the CRD? What focus on objectives of CRD and why not use the NF deployment? So there's a lot of homework that needs to be answered prior to this, guys. Right, right. I, I will get back to you on this. Okay, and have him resolve the comments that he's resolved, right? That way it'll clean, keep clean. We'll know what's, what's just out there. 
Perfect. But, but yeah. so, so this one conditionally may go, but um, but I need to get verification from from Naaman that you know this is um, this is indeed ready, and I don't know if it's ready without seeing these artifacts. Maybe we review it again next next Wednesday. It's my preference. Right, 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 right. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, I'll uh, pin you on the Slack. I, I didn't have, uh, I haven't come prepared for this. I thought it has already gone through, uh, but definitely I'll pin back, you know, in what state it is and whether we are good to go for this Friday. Okay, all right. It's, well, no, it's not going to be this Friday. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at it again next Wednesday with the with the comments re resolutions that, that are already there, right? Right. I, right. I, and the reason why is I don't want you to go in go into the the RX scope meeting into into that buzz saw. <laughs> right, right. We, we saw that. We saw that last week. <laughs> okay, <Yeah>. okay, okay. <laughs> just yeah. you know, it's okay. We just want to make sure that we're prepared before we go in there. Okay. And Perfect. so that's that's why I'm just saying, hold on, man. You might want to think about holding back uh, and making sure that you got your stuff. Uh, uh, answered okay so we're sure, going to hold sure. this back hold back on this one for one week right till and we're till next wednesday right okay sure. all right sure. sure so bala so you're on so what about these other well let's let's talk about this while we got say you on so the next item i'm going to start sharing again guys so if you don't mind all right so the other one is um the, the other one that we talked about was there's there were some questions on the authority of where the source authority for the NFO code is. I believe Segar and uh, Seishu, you guys were having a conversation and we, we want to make sure we know whether that's going to be housed. And I would assume uh, the FOCOM stuff is the same way, but it's going to be housed in NEFIO or OSC. So um, Seishu, Segar, could you help? Um, yeah. Uh, we are it. planning to have it. Uh, that that's a discussion we were having in in line to what OI is doing right now. We are planning to have it in the OSC to start with because that will be giving a better CI/CD and uh, Dev DevSecOps. Uh, in future, I mean, right now for this release, at least we'll start in the OSC. And in fact, uh, Tim, this is also in line to what we initially started with, right? We were trying to take the components from the OSC into Nefio and adapting it, right? Also, in that that perspective, it makes sense. Um, and also, it, it's going to help us to have that revival, or I can say the testing of the entire components, the dependent components also end to end. Uh, easy for us to do deployments from the entire OS or run specs perspective. Uh, that's the idea with which we are moving on. And it's also in line to current uh, uh, genre of how o o the NFO code is being ma uh, maintained, especially the OI part. So that is the current thought which we are going with. Uh, I mean, we, we want to present on, I would say. Um, I'm I'm happy to hear the comments on this further. So, does anyone have any comments on this one or concerns, Bala? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, sorry, I didn't raise my hand. Uh, it's not a no, concern. I just wanted to see the still the observation. Thanks, Seshu. So, uh, I just wanted to uh, uh, tell a little bit of genesis about the, how the existing mechanism really worked well with a uh, uh, with the nephew and how this may be slightly different. So the, the, when we introduced Prefire GC, all the operators and everything was in the Nefio repo. And then we really wanted to showcase, you know, for example, OAI is almost like a different vendor, even though it's open source. Uh, we wanted to showcase a capability where, you know, you could be writing your own operators, you could be writing your own packages, it could be in your own repo, but it's all ba based on GitOps. So you, everything doesn't have to be in Nefio repo, and then Nefio would still work as long as we have Git access and the, we have the access to the images, access to the Git uh, artifacts in a GitHub or any other uh, Git repository. So in that way, uh, it actually worked very well with the theme uh, that we wanted to say in Nefio that you know, like, for for example, tomorrow a commercial vendor should be doing could be doing the same thing, could be doing the operator for their NFs and then could be packaging for Nefio and everything should, could be there, could be in their own repo. And then it's gonna just work well, just like the way OAI worked. And then we were, it's, OAI sets that as an example. So that's that's great. So 
now we are talking about this we are uh, i'm i'm i am not concerned but i have i have a few questions uh, so, so when we do in osc uh, again this is some of the things i wanted to discuss with seshu because i missed a few meetings in between so i'm not up to speed uh, so which part uh, of are, is everything going to be in NF, uh, osc or is is there parts going to be in uh, in a few repo, for example, if you look at the existing, what we did for uh, the RAN and the core, entire core is in OAI, uh, but uh, the, all the RAN operators are everything, they are in a few repo. So is there anything like that or is all the world going to decide in OSC? That's one question. The second question is uh, the adaptation for NFIO, uh, how, that's, how is it going to happen once, if everything is in uh, OSC? Uh, Bala, uh, for that, um, see, what I'm right now thinking about is the major work of it is actually happening from OEC perspective, as I was explaining even uh, to Stephen's comments, right? Yeah. Uh, we will start off with OSC because uh, that's a place where we will, um, I mean, right now, as I said, OSC complete greenfield, so it's better to start there. Yeah. Of infractions and all. Uh, and nephew part of it is actually the, the I can say, the adaptation right now, right? The, the adaptation of facade part of it is actually what is coming from nephew thing. So, and by the way, long run office, we also want to adapt the SMO into NEFIO mode, right? That's what we are, we also thought about when we initially discussed even uh, the start of this, when we actually had the OI, OSC and, and uh, uh, you know, NEFIO call, the 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 entire genesis of this is coming from there, right? The, the November, December call. Uh, even there, we were discussing about the same, that we will first uh, uh, take the OSC components and then adapt it to NEFIO uh, because of the release one part. I mean, this is a starting release of that the, for the genesis, for the collaboration to work on. Um, I would say that we can start off there, but yes, in the long run, we will bring up those components which are NEFIO's perspective or NEFIO adaptation part into NEFIO, NEFIO scope. Um, that's the long run I'm thinking about. Uh, so to start with, to keep the to keep it simple and straightforward, I think uh, it is okay to start off everything in the OSC call because SMO call will be completely green if we don't have anything to uh, say. This is there, this is here, and and it's also in line to what you just said about you know taking it taking the binaries of Nefio from somewhere and just adapting anywhere anywhere else. I mean that's again a good use case for us to showcase that Nefio can adapt to any sort of environment, right? That's what we want to we want to talk about with multi cloud and multi environment support. Yeah, uh, it's also in line to that. So this is my current thought. Again, I'm 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 thinking out loud here, guys. I'm open for discussions. I want to start off with simple. Don't want to complicate the part of the CI/CD at least, uh, because we have to develop something from scratch right now for for the SMO part. In long run of it, we can actually fine tune it and make it uh, much more feasible for us to do the adaptation as per the need. That are, that are my thoughts. Okay, thanks. And uh, the one one additional question there: Is there any licensing aspects in terms of? I think I know. Uh, uh, yes, Sagar, from the OAI perspective, he he changed some of the CLA for for us. Uh, is it the same CLA? Is the same license? So we, for this one the well? Advantage of advantage of yeah, one big thing. Thanks a lot for bringing up. I was about to. I mean, I, I wanted to say this, but you got a very good point. Thanks a lot, Bala, for that. Yeah. See, both of them are coming under LFN, right? Both the OSC as well as L, and if you are coming under LFN scenario, not like OI, which is coming from a different open source. Okay. And both of them are Apache to licensing, so we will not even have any problem with respect to the licensing code. This is in line to what we are also doing in OSC for ONAP. See, ONAP based code, whatever we are doing in OSC, right? That's actually in the OSC grid. Okay. Okay. Got it. It's in line to that. It's absolutely in line yes. to that. Awesome. That's that's great. Yeah, we don't have the we we didn't we don't have the issue with uh, what we have. Yeah, yeah, Thank yeah, you yeah, so much. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Great, great. Thanks, Seisho. So uh sorry, I, I one more question for you, Seisho, uh, on sure. this. So uh, the O cloud stuff, uh is mm -hmm. uh, are we thinking about doing the same uh, mechanism as well? Uh, work cloud related stories. Work cloud story, uh, we will, I mean, as I said, uh, that's a part which I was talking to you, right? We will try to see how we'll adapt it to NEFIO also. Okay. Uh, we want to keep them separate right now. Uh, again, we can actually have them co-located, co we can have them separate as per that. But the point is, we want to show the, uh, uh, the, the when we try to deploy both of them together, we will be anyways bringing up the systems together, right? That should not be a problem. So... Uh, we can discuss the details again with Bala. That is what I wanted to also discuss with you, right? Once we go into details of it, how it can be shared across both these parties. I'm saying uh, from the enabler to the actual point of getting the cluster, right? That's what is O-Cloud versus uh, NFU I'm talking about. 
Yeah. So we can surely discuss about that. Uh, I, I don't see any problem in that, by the way, uh, from the way we are doing it, because even there in the OSC also, we have ORN, uh, CINF, which you are aware of, we are, you are very much aware of. So that's a component which will be coming. The same is the case with even RIC also, right? RIC and OAM, even in the OSC. So we are only talking about the SMO core for NFO perspective, because that is what will be the residing factor. And remaining everything can be plug and play, right? Okay, cool. Thanks. Yeah. So, yeah. so Bala, I do have a question, right? Because we're talking about the IMS and DNS now, right? And so, yeah. I, and I believe that's what you were referring to. So those functions that are exposed in those two interfaces, those O-Cloud functions, what, what is, what is, what is your preference from the IMS and well, I don't know who's doing the DNS, but from the IMS perspective, is it to put keep that within Nephio or, or to utilize the OSC repositories for that? Do you have an opinion on that? I guess the question. So, uh, on that one, uh, to be honest with you, uh, I was going to say this when you are going to the next sections of the stories. I was looking at, for example, create cluster story right. that was written. Right. Mm -hmm. I was a bit confused, to be honest with you. And <laughs> that's one of the things I also wanted to discuss with Seishi today. So it says, one of the prerequisites is O2 interface already present for that story. So I didn't understand what is the meaning of that. It's, it's if, you, if you look at that particular story, I'm, I'm sorry, I know I'm jumping ahead. Uh, uh, it, it is in your next section of agenda, right? Uh, yeah. So I, 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 like I said, I missed a couple of meetings, so I I don't want to assume. I think I'm, I'm sure I missed a few things, but it says that one of the prerequisites is the O2 interface is already present. So I was confused. This is a part of O2 interface. So, so what is the prerequisite? It says it's already present. So I was under the impression that some of it is coming from uh, OAC. Uh, or it may be, is it the case or is it not the case? I'm not sure. Uh, I know uh, there is a... Uh, the 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 uh, the uh, some O2 IMS implementation in OSC, but I I think it's uh, very specific to Star Linux. Uh, uh, those are some of the questions I wanted to ask. We can ask, we can discuss it here, or we can discuss it. I can discuss it uh, as, as a say issue uh, in in our call. So if you have time today, I mean after this, well, I can I can it. keep it simple. I can keep it simple. See, from yeah. NFO perspective, what we are saying is for NFO to work, we should actually have the IMS ready. Yeah. We have required DMS ready and we require the FOCOM ready. Okay. Just a simple thing. Okay. Uh, the, the perspective of adaptation can be different, but what we are saying prerequisite for NFO to work, right? For, for NFO to come into picture because the story is use case two. Yeah. We said for use case two to work, we require a cluster to be there. And for the cluster to be there, we require the IMS and DMS, right? That's the prerequisite we are talking about. Uh, does it make sense from, from the, the, from what we said as a prerequisite for yeah. NFO to work, for the use case story to work, to work, right? Yes, yes. I, from this one, I understand, Seishu. Yeah, from your story perspective, I can understand. But yeah. if you go, <clears throat> there is a O2, uh, O2 cloud story below, uh, which which is in the, it's, uh, the, uh, the, that's a story, for example, O2 cloud right. registration. And then if you see, right. there is a couple of other stories there. Uh, if you go to the create story, if you don't mind. Uh, oh, sure. Sure. Just yeah. a second. I picked the wrong one. I thought you wanted one of that one first. But okay. <laughs> Yeah, Go if ahead. you see the prerequisites there, for example, I have multiple questions on this one. Uh, 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 yeah, so so basically yeah. the SMO has to have the endpoint to the OCLOT IMS in order to actually deploy, uh, yeah, to, to, to start the communication. So there's got to be a pre-setup before you can create a cluster there's an O-Cloud Genesis. So it's already gone through this Genesis, right? So there's an O-IMS service already there by which it can be reached by the SMO. That's what it's talking about, Paula. Yeah, so that's where I have a question. So if you, if you, if you look at the O2 IMS APIs, there are a bunch of REST APIs which are in the stage three, especially the inventory part. Right. So does it mean that Nephew as a cloud already supports those APIs. Is that what it means? Yeah. Well, so if you look at the registration, if, if, that is, if yeah. you look at registration, the the O cloud IMS, which is a function in the yeah. in the function, it already exists, but it's not registered. It it actually provides the SMO its endpoint. That's the registration process, right? You're registering the O cloud. Yeah. 
Okay. And so, so how, so, so what great before I can create a cluster, I've got to, I've got to establish the endpoint. I got to establish the registration. So there's some Genesis here that we have where we have an IMS service in the O cloud that's waiting to register with the SMO. That's what's coming down to, right? Yes. So my question is, if you, if you, uh, so where is that story? That uh, that the uh, there isn't a Genesis story, if that's what you're asking. Yeah. That we don't. There is no Genesis story. That's just a. It's a right now, it's a fact, I guess. You'd have to ask Alexis how he was going to create a, a an O cloud. Um, just yeah. That's yeah. idle with a with a. A serve with a function that, that exposes a service, right? <laughs> That's sitting yeah, there. I, I actually, for a lot of these things to work, some of those O2 APIs need to work, right? Uh, which is especially the inventory uh, discovery system. Uh, for example, it has to say what deployment managers you have, give me the credentials. Uh, mm -hmm. Only after that, the DMS could work, actually. Uh, so right. my question is, uh, those specific inventory management APIs that is already in stage three in OSC, and there is a reference implementation in OSC, uh, uh, which obviously works uh, in the in the in the install links. Uh, so, are we for to do any of these things? Is it a prerequisite that Nephew should support those REST APIs, which is already in stage three for inventory management? Well, I would think well because I, I, can, I, can send the, I can I can send the links just 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 to just just give me a second I'll put a link here we can share that and then uh, I can see uh, the uh, then and we've got about we've got about five minutes just to let you know on this we're running yeah sorry <laughs> no it's okay so, so yeah so a lot of this I thought was already worked out through, um, you know, Alexis and those guys. But yeah, I, 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 I understand. I uh, apologize. I missed a few meetings in between. Then I signed up for this. Then I was going through three studies and uh, Sashi also sent me the link. Um, if you go to the inventory management, if you go to the one thing above that, mm -hmm. go with that. Yeah, this is where it gets the, this is the O2MS APIs that's already defined. This is the, this is a reference implementation in OSC. Uh, this is how uh, SMO will know the O cloud. This is how it discovers the O cloud. It gives, it tells me, give me the list of clusters that you know about. Give me its credentials. Give me its endpoints. Mm -hmm. uh, everything, right? So, and then only the 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 NFO could work. Actually, uh, that's what the session was. Pointing yeah, you out. have to. Uh, yeah, that's right. You have to have before you can even do a deployment. You have to register the O cloud. You have to yes. grab its inventory. You got to. Yes. You got. You actually so, have to download a DMS. Now you might already have a DMS already stood up, right? But effectively, yeah, so, that DMS has to be part of the inventory. Yeah. From a nephew perspective, I want to understand where is this story. So, are we having something reusable in OSC that we uh, that we are going to deploy in a nephew to get this information? Is that the, was that the understanding, or are we going to create a, an operator in nephew to to uh, serve these APIs. That was the, because without this inventory management, I don't think uh, DMS will yeah, even know. I, I, think, I think Alexis intended on building an operator. There's not an operator for this, um, uh, Seishu, right? That's up in. Um, Seishu, the, the one no, in OSC, we, do you think it's reusable? Uh, in yes, general? it is. Actually, you remember the Oakler operator that we, we demoed sometime before Bala? Uh, I'm not sure if you came across, but that was already discussed with Alexi, actually. So we do have operator. If you talk from the perspective of, uh, uh, you know, having it um, as, as a Focom way, I'm saying the IMS way, we already have developed it. Uh, we, have, we are right now in the process of getting it into Nephew format. I mean, the operators can be in different formats, but I'm saying we are trying to get the syntax of that into Nephew formatting. That's a starting step even from the perspective of us to adapt to Nephew. We can discuss that. Maybe uh, it's already up the time. So maybe Bala, I'll show you that tomorrow and then we can discuss that details also. Okay. I'll, I'll clarify. Okay. By the, way, by the way, this part of it, this part of it is uh, not written by me. So I cannot uh, read the mind of Alexi on this, but yeah, I can actually surely get into this that we we can see how we can do that. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll think of a end-to-end -end scenario there. Yeah. Okay. 
So, so, yeah, so I, sorry, I think... one more, sorry, sorry, one more question there. In the create cluster, probably I can discuss with you, Seishup. And uh, Tim, I also want to ask you that. So there is, uh, in the SMO portion of the create cluster, uh, and there is there are two portions. If you see, go back to that particular story. It's, uh, it talks about it's about what we need to do SMO and how the O cloud will react to it. So but I think this is a chicken. Oh, sorry, sorry to interrupt. I, I want to be quick on this. It's a chicken and egg problem because some of these are to be developed in FIO. That's what we have discussed before. Yeah, and some of them will be developed as part of R three, right? Uh, the prerequisite which you're talking about is a series of operations which are already getting developed finally. For example. Without you creating a cloud, you will not be able to create registration. Without you be able to create a cloud and a, and a registration and then the uh, cluster, uh, workload cluster, to be more precise in a few terms, we will not be able to do the workload onboarding, right? Yeah. And without doing our workload onboarding, we'll be not be able to do the other part, which is actually what Sagar and uh, Varda was talking about sometime before, right? So all of them are happening in parallel. They'll have a, no, that's a series of operations. So use case one is the primary one, use case two follows it, and use case three follows that. those two. Prior. Uh, how we want to do it? Yeah, we can do right now from the, from from say that you will you will take a part of it and test everything. That's one way to take it up. Other way is that we will finish off the first one, then we will wait for the first one to complete, then we will do integration now in the end, end to end. Again, my thoughts out loud here. Vada. Okay. 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 Yeah. Sashi, so we'll discuss that in detail. And I also wanted to discuss about it. Talks about adaptation both in SMO layer and also cloud layer. Probably, Tim, I can I can discuss with Seishu and then probably we can discuss it later in the interest of time. Yeah, so, yeah, I was just, I also got a, a chat from Alok. Alok, look at this use case, man. It's, uh, you know, this is supposed to be an no cloud registration, not a cluster registration. You guys can comment on it, talk with uh, Bala and uh, Alexis on it, but everything I see here says it's the no cloud registration, not a cluster. And I could be wrong. Okay. All right, guys, so it is uh, three minutes till. Uh, let's quickly go back. So any any, any other questions for today? All right, so what I'm going to do for next week is I will put, um, hopefully we'll complete the, uh, the near real-time Rick, and I'll add these. Bala, do you think I can add these? Which ones do you want me to add for next week? Uh, definitely. Uh, uh... I think in terms of uh, the uh, in terms of the actual operational series, I think it's it's in the right series, the right way, right? Work cloud registration and uh, create cluster and then delete cluster. That's how in terms of operations, that's how it's going to happen. But in terms of the meat, the create cluster has more content rather than the other two one. So probably we can start with that one. Start with that one. All right. So yeah. I just need to know which one to put them in yeah. so I can go through it. All right, guys. All right. So anything else for today? Okay, so don't forget. So I so anticipate uh, Robbie uh, NF orchestration using SMO, Sagar and um, uh, uh, can't remember who else. Oh, so, <laughs> not not say you. Sagar you and uh, team is not fair. Team, you forgot my name. <laughs> <laughs> well, Seishu, you you can be there Friday as well. But yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's late. So, I'll, I'll yeah. see. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, and then <laughs> Seishu uh, will be in a party mode. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> And then so. uh, Barada and uh, and 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 Sagar for sure um, on the on the reconfigure NF. So be there on Friday. We'll probably do reconfigure NF first, get the low hanging fruit out of the way, and then um, uh, get to the uh, with the, with the SMO. Okay. All sure. right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Okay. Appreciate your time. Thanks a lot. Yeah. All right, well. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Mm. Bye, bye. Thanks. Yeah, bye. bye. bye.